to unmute. Hi, you want to go? I know. Well, as soon as we finish our live, we'll go for a walk, okay? Okay, you want to come up? Come up. Come here, right here. No, oh, you're just going to stay. <laughs> hey, kia ora. Hello, Brums. Here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling day. I have a dog who wants a lot of attention right now, but she won't come up on the seat next to me to say hi. She did a fabulous job this morning. She was the highlight of our morning call this morning. <laughs> um, so how has your thankful Thursday been? Mine has been amazing, incredible, and come here. Come on. You're just going to stand there and whine. Okay. okay. Um, it's been an incredible... Oh, Jeepers, my hair's a mess. <laughs> it's what headphones do, does to your hair. Um, Thursday, thankful. Yes, very thankful for today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, I don't know what planet I'm on right now. I have no clue. Um, I'm just sort of like forgot to write down what I was talking about today oh yes thankful Thursday so yes it's been a very great day I'm very thankful for today I got to I got to go networking today which I haven't been able to do for a while we have a three o'clock networking meeting which goes for exactly one hour um, we turn everything off at four o'clock exactly um, very rarely do we go like 401 it's always four o'clock um, and it's a great thing because they put us into breakout rooms and we get different and then we get mixed up. Sometimes you get the same people, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get all new people each time. Sometimes you might get, you know, one person that you had in an earlier breakout. And we got in like four or five breakouts, this to the four breakouts we got into today. I think it was five. Sefi, seriously. Come on, up here. Okay, I'll just scratch it. You stand there and I'll scratch your head. There you go. Um and um, so it was really great because we were given a question each time. We got 10 minutes in the breakout and the in the breakout room with um, three or four other people, and we got to do our little a 30 second thing on what one one product or service we were doing, not your whole menu. Um, and then we had different questions to answer in each breakout. So it was kind of it's kind of fun. It's, I haven't been able to do this for a while. Um, normally at three o'clock, I'm like hurry, hurrying up trying to finish a call that's come through on the chat. So I can get off and go into the um, and go into the networking thing. Um, the only problem is that they lock the room at three o two. So if you're not in there by three o two, you get locked out. And I'm so like, darn. So I've been locked out a few times. Um, but I actually got to go in today and had a great time. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, and then I just got off doing and um, hosting an overview, and uh, that's always fun. Oh my gosh, just seeing people's eyes light up and all that sort of thing. It's a great, great thing to be part of. And um, see who's got the oh, she's up on the window so um and then at lunchtime today uh, i sort of thought what can i have for lunch i started off with breakfast i got um when i did groceries yesterday um i got some gluten-free um dairy-free hot pockets and um thought yeah i'll give them a they were on sale i thought i'll give them a try and i did my shopping through sprouts yesterday um there's a couple of things I needed that they didn't. I thought, I'm just going to do my shopping through there. So they had these things on sale, and I put one in the air fryer this morning for breakfast, and it was so good. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so good. And it had um, had real eggs in it. It had um, a fake cheese in there, but, but it didn't taste any different. And Zephy gobbled up her little bits. I gave her a bit of egg, and I thought, oh, I wonder what they've – and I was like, oh, I just gave her the eggs, and it's got the cheese mixed in it because it was all scrambled in together and everything. And I'm like, she's going to be like – she was fine. Didn't bother her a little bit. Whether she had real cheese or fake cheese, she was fine. Um, but they were really good. I was sort of like, well, that was a, that was a bad, that was a pretty good purchase. And then at lunchtime, I was like, well, what am I going to have for lunch today? And um, kept thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, it suddenly hit me. I could do a Bacana pizza. And um, you're probably wondering, what the heck is a Bacana pizza? Well, you take pita, um, um, a piece of pita bread. You um, put pesto on it not a tomato sauce pesto is your sauce then you sprinkle your cheese on and then you put um real bacon bits on there and then slices of banana bacon banana bacana um and you put slice and then i threw it into the air fryer and i was like oh, how long would i have to put this on so i'll put it on for 10 minutes because halfway through it's going to go beep 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 and i gotta like you know because it's like flip over time or change the shelf time or whatever and i'll see what it's like then got to the fight got the halfway mark it was done i was like yes Five minutes, five minutes to do a to do a pita bread pizza um, in the um, 
in the air fryer. So I had um, a bacana pizza for lunch today. It was so good. And um, and I'm also starting to, re um, during my lunch break and stuff, I'll sit here and I'll read. But rather than bringing my Kindle out where I end up getting a crick in my neck because the Kindle sits down here and I'm being like this, um, I've now got it on the big screen in front of me. And uh, Amazon has this thing right now which um, you can earn points based on the books that you buy and then those points add up to getting money taken off your purchases later on. Well, well that's pretty cool. But you can also earn these little badges. And I thought, well, what's all this about? And one of the badges um, is to was to um, do a 30-day trial on Kindle Unlimited, and I've never used Kindle Unlimited before. So I thought, well, and you could either do $4.99 for the first two months, or you could do a 30-day free trial. And I thought, I'm just going to do a 30-day free trial, see how that goes. And uh, so they gave me some recommended readings, and there was a lot of, I was like, there's a lot of like, oh, what's this one? And it was called Three Times Removed, and it had Maze Investigations, the Genealogy Detectors. I've book one, I'm like, I'm in. Let's read that one. <laughs> and uh, so I've just been reading it while I have breakfast or lunch each day. And um, so far, with the prologue was, um, and they're all some, for some reason, there's something about the 12th of May. It's 12th of May, 1853. The chapter one was 12th of May 2015, which is when the story is actually set, or kind of kind of transcends to generations. And then chapter two is May 12th of May 1909. And I thought, well, this is interesting. We're like bouncing all around. I've got to keep track of which chapter is what. And um, so I thought, you know, I'm on to, I'm in the middle of chapter two, and I'm suddenly like, I don't think I read the blurb on this thing. So I went back to read the blurb. And it's talking about some incident that happened back in 1853 that is affecting this family, this woman in 19 in um, 2015. Um, there were some events that happened in 1853 that affects her and the safety of her children in um, in 2015. And I'm like, well, that sounds a little weird. And so she's now has to solve the the family mystery of her ancestor, and she's got a missing ancestor from um, who died in 1909 on like the fourth of May or something, but the 12th of May, which is what I'm in the middle of reading right now, is his burial date. And I'm like, huh, what's this about the 12th of May? And so I'm reading this blurb and it talks about like supernatural, the supernatural connection through the things. And I'm like, okay, that's a little out there, but not an impossibility because I have heard of people when they're out looking for details, how they are guided to unknown places or have this urge or the sense that they have to go somewhere and they find the details that they're looking for. And, um, and this happens, um, and there's a book called In the, Footsteps, In the Footsteps of Your Ancestors. And it's all these little short stories of people when they've been looking for something where something kind of supernatural has happened and they found and they suddenly found their ancestor in a place they never thought. Um, there's one story that always sticks in my, in my mind is that um, they were, the couple were driving, uh, they were in either Idaho or Ohio. One of those two states, I can't remember which one. But anyway, they're driving along this this road in the middle, of, like in the middle of nowhere. They're heading to this little town um, where her ancestors were supposedly from. And she's going to go there and do some research. Well, they end up getting a flat tire in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing to be seen. There's just all these fields for miles around. As far as you can see, there's fields. They couldn't even see any buildings. And um, so, they fit, so while her husband was fixing the flat tire, she got this urge, this very, very strong feeling to climb the fence and she's like I don't want to go and she's like you know she's trying to brush it off but she gets she ends up going and the more she resisted it the stronger the feeling became so she ends up climbing over this fence and starts walking around in this paddock field paddock meadow um, and she felt and she stumbles on something and falls over and so when she gets herself back up she goes what did I trip over and it was the headstones of her ancestors that she was going to this little town to find and I'm like okay yeah <laughs> so you got this the stuff that's going on so when I saw that this book had some supernatural feel to it or something I, I suddenly went back to this ancestry you know footsteps of your ancestry where there's story after story after story of events like this where people go to a certain place they have no explanation why they're there or something happens that makes them pause stop their journey um, and then they get a, pull, a strong pull to go off in some different direction. 
And um, so I thought, well, this is going to be interesting. But something that happened in 1853 is affecting her family in 2015. So I'm sort of like, oh, I'm intrigued now. And I'm only reading it on the computer. So it's only a breakfast and lunch that I get to read it. And I was like, <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I'm only halfway through chapter two. You know, I've only read the prologue, the first chapter, and I'm halfway through chapter two, where they're in the middle of, this, of the funeral service and the end of, and um yeah in the middle of the funeral service so um it's sort of like well this is going to be interesting um but yeah so it's shaping up to a really really good book but i'm finding that um with the kindle unlimited what i've been able to do is that some of the cookbooks out there for air fryers um you are available through kindle unlimited and i'm like well this is good because sometimes when i Oh, the book looks really good and you see the little see the little intro thingy there and you go and have a look at it and you think well this looks this looks like it could be a good book and work and so you go purchase it and you get it and it's like nothing like what you expected so i thought well this way i can go have a look at the kindle books um at the if they're on if they're on kindle unlimited i could go look at these air fryer cookbooks see if they are something i would use um and if they've got instructions there for because on, on a lot of the books they're describing um when they talk about the air fryer on the cover of the book they're talking about an air fryer oven which is my, what mine kind of is because it bakes at rotisseries dehydrates reheats air fries i'm missing one and there's another one that i'm missing um and i thought well okay so i need because in there they keep because in a lot of recipes they talk about put the stuff in the basket well the basket for this thing is round and it rotates <laughs> So it's like, I can't put that stuff in a basket. It'll just fall through and nothing will cook. Um, so that's when I learned the difference between air fries. Some of them are just a drawer thing that comes out, and that's when you put the stuff in the basket. So I have to look at cookbooks that are for air fryer ovens. So you're learning all this stuff as well. So um, so I picked out a couple of books that I'm looking my way through, and some of them have, I oh, just cook it, at the, you know, cook it at this temperature. I'm so like, well, what setting do I put it at? You know, you're showing this, this, um, air fryer on the front cover that has different settings but nowhere in this are you saying what setting the air fryer has to be on you're just turning around and say put it in the air fryer at this temperature for this amount of time and i'm like what setting if you're going to put a picture of a of a um an air fryer oven on the front that has options for the different ways that you can cook um why are they not in the recipes just as something to think about so um yes yeah, so i'm now evaluating cookbooks through the kindle unlimited and i thought what else can i go and evaluate and see if it's worth getting and all this sort of stuff so it's kind of fun because i can i've got 30 days 30 days and i started yesterday or the day before What's today thursday it was either tuesday or wednesday i started this so i'm like counting my days and making sure i'm going in there and having a look around different books and things like that too um so yeah so and then um so that's basically been my day today. <laughs> it's amazing how much you can get read during a lunch lunch break. Um, and um, what else have I got? That's basically it for today. Um, but the question there, for, excuse me, for tell your story. Your question today is: Did you have any pets when you were growing up? Um, what sort of pets did you have when you were growing up? And did you have a favorite? And if you want to know what mine is, you'll have to go back and watch part one from this morning. But that's it. I am out of here. Oh, hang on, Cindy Lee has got here. Thankful for you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, thankful Thursday. I love the tra hashtag Thankful Thursday. I love Trader Joe's gluten-free breads. Ooh. If I can get Trader Joe's through Instacart. Hmm. I'll have to try out those Trader Joe free breads, gluten-free breads. Yes. See how that works. Anyway, I'm out of here. I've got a DOG that needs to go for a WALK. She's been very vocal and now she's sulking up the front window. Here she comes. She's coming to check on. She is hilarious. She is just hilarious. But anyway, um, go have a super fantastic sparkling evening, and we'll catch you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Fun Friday. Hey, Conera.